Hey everyone, hope you are doing great. Most of you might already know about F-Droid, which is an open source repository. And there is also a dedicated application store for Android devices. So I thought I'll make this video and show you a simple guide on how to get most out of F-Droid so that you don't need to go anywhere else looking for your favorite open source applications. I'll try to briefly explain features like searching and downloading applications, adding open source repositories, checking application permissions, or using F-Droid nearby feature. So let's get the video started. When it comes to downloading F-Droid applications, there are two ways to do it. The first one is using any Android browser and going to f-droid.org and searching for your favorite application. One major drawback of downloading any F-Droid application through your browser is that you won't be able to receive any updates if the application does not have an inbuilt update feature, which in most of the cases is not there. So you have to look around again if any new version of the application has come out. Also, many F-Droid applications are not available on Google Play Store, so you'll be stuck with the version you downloaded using your browser. The best way to stay updated on any F-Droid application is to download F-Droid application store in your device, which you can download from the same website, which is f-droid.org. Once you download F-Droid application store in your device, you'll receive notifications if the new version of any application comes out. Now you have F-Droid installed in your device, you can simply open it and search for your favorite application and download it. Searching applications is very simple here as you get a dedicated search button at the bottom. Looking at the main homepage, the applications are sorted based on the recent updates, so you get the latest versions at the top. There is a pull down gesture as well which updates the repository and you are presented with the latest versions of the applications. You also have a separate column for the updates which lets you know if any new version of the installed application is available. Now if you want to download any application, you can simply tap on it and you will get the direct install button. Apart from installation, you can check other features like the source code or the application permissions or even different versions of any application. For example, if any version of the application does not work properly, you can always try the alternate versions. If you look at the second tab, you will get a well categorized application list, which makes it easy for you to look for the particular application you want to download or take a look at. This page is also sorted based on the recent updated applications, or you can just go ahead and with the complete list in each category. Now the most important feature which is available on F-Droid is the nearby feature, which lets you get the F-Droid applications from a nearby device, even without any internet connection. Both the devices should have F-Droid installed and you can either choose a Bluetooth method of file transfer or you also have an option to scan the QR code. Once both the devices are connected, you can directly transfer F-Droid applications and they will be installed in the target device. If this feature does not work for any reason, there is a separate application known as F-Droid Nearby which does the exact same job. You can easily get it from F-Droid and I will also leave a link in the video description. Now most of the features are almost covered and let me give you a quick overview of the settings where you have options like adding different repositories or managing your installed F-Droid applications or changing the update related settings. Starting with the first option of adding repositories, here you have F-Droid repository turned on by default. Apart from F-Droid, there are other repositories which provide open source applications and are continuously updated as well. One such repository is known as Easy Android. If you want to add Easy Android here, you can simply tap on this plus icon and add the repository address. As I am talking about Easy Android here, you can simply search Easy Android using your browser. And you can see a URL on the top of the page. Just copy this link and paste it in the address bar and click on Add. Now you will get all the applications available on Easy Android as well. There are other open source repositories as well. I will leave the links in the video description. You can follow the same process of adding links here. Now everything is almost done here. You have installed F-Roid in your device and you have added repositories as well. The final thing I would like to talk about is this proxy option where you have an option to use Tor, which is basically the Tor browser. This option is for enhanced privacy like if you want to download applications through a more private source, you can just enable this option which will take you to Google Play Store, where you can download Tor browser and then download F-Roid applications through this browser. So this rounds up today's video on F-Roid and how to get most out of it and I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment and if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you soon in my next video.